Hello, Year 11. Um, back to, uh, or onward rather, with Jekyll and Hyde, revision thereof. Um, our uh, learning objective today is to study the role of Dr. Lanyon in Jekyll and Hyde. And the title that goes into your books is Dr. Lanyon in Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, I want you to put this onto paper and put it into your uh, revision folders. Um, or at least somewhere where you know where it is. This is all revision now. Um, you're going to need a pen, your copy of Jekyll and Hyde. If you don't have it, you can still do the lesson and your exercise books. And uh, in a couple of weeks time, we might be doing Zoom lessons. So I'm very excited about that. It'd be nice to see you all again. Um, no dates on that yet, though. Anyway, so get that stuff, get the title onto your piece of paper, underline it, and we'll, uh, and we'll press on with the lesson. OK, you'll do now is to write down everything you can remember about Dr. Lanyon and his role in the novella, the novella being Jekyll and Hyde. Novella is just like a short novel. Uh, so write down any questions you can remember relating to Dr. Lanyon. So just spend three minutes on that. Here is uh, some of the um, information you could have put down about Dr. Lanyon and his role in the novella. Uh, Dr. Lanyon is a highly regarded practicing doctor. The great Dr. Lanyon is the quote. His crowding patients, Cavendish Square, that citadel of medicine. He is a contrast to Dr. Jekyll. Jekyll uses science to benefit himself and ultimately causes harm, while Lanyon uses his knowledge and skill to care for others. Jekyll and Lanyon have fallen out over their different views on science. Lanyon's description of Jekyll, such unscientific balderdash. Jekyll's description of Lanyon, that hide-bound pedant. Um, Lanyon dies of shock after he witnesses Hyde's transformation into Jekyll. When Utterson visits him, La Lanyon refuses to tell him what Jekyll has done, building suspense. Chapter 9 is Dr Lanyon's narrative. This is written in the first person, giving Lanyon's perspective on Hyde's transformation into Jekyll. Lanyon treats Hyde as his patient. I took pity on my visitor's suspense. His reaction to Hyde's transformation shows how unholy and evil it is. Oh God, I screamed, and oh God, again and again. So there are other quotes and other bits of information, um, but I want you, whatever you've got, I want you to add at least four points from here onto your notes. Now, when you're answering questions in Jekyll and Hyde, either the extract or the uh, essay question, but I've already said we're going to be sticking to the extract, um, you need to put in a bit of context. Context means uh, information that relates to the time and the place that the novel is set. Um, so we're going to briefly touch on that now. Victorian context um, regarding doctors. The 19th century was a century of breakthroughs in medicine in terms of public hygiene as well as inventions such as the stethoscope and anaesthetics, anaesthetics to be used in surgery. There were decreasing death rates thanks to growing expertise. Doctors have an important role in terms of this and represent education, change and possibility. So not only are, are they respectable, they're kind of uh, on point for the future. So I want you to copy that piece of um, context into your books, please, or onto your pieces of paper, which then going into your folders. After you've done that, your task is to write a paragraph explaining how science and medicine are represented in the novella. Use evidence to support your ideas. Here's mine. Stevenson presents science and medicine through the characters of Dr. Lanyon and Dr. Jekyll. The great Dr. Lanyon is a practicing doctor whose popularity is demonstrated through his crowding patients. By describing Lanyon's home, Cavendish Square, as a citadel of medicine, Stevenson conveys how beneficial Lanyon's work is. A citadel is a fortress and so gives Lanyon work connotations of protection and strength. By contrast, Jekyll uses science for purely selfish purposes, which leads to suffering, the trampling of the girl and Carew's murder and his own downfall. Before his death, Jekyll realises how destructive his abuse of science has been. He sees Hyde as the slime of the pit, an illusion, which is a reference to hell, underlining Hyde's evil. The reader is clearly given the message that science has huge benefits though med through medicine, but should not be misused. Here we are. Um, you can uh, you can see what I've done there. I don't think I need to go out over that. That's uh, a pretty standard analytical paragraph. It's it's, it's essentially a peel paragraph, um, including some uh, including some context. So have a read over that and make sure that your paragraph is uh, you know not dissimilar.
and when and obviously at the end of the lesson I want you to upload your paragraph to me don't worry about it you know just uh, do the job and upload it to me so your task now and copy and annotate these quotation relating to Dr Lanyon and science consider why they are important and the effects of Stevenson's use of language and structure so you've got one two three four five six quotes there that I want you to do an analysis on you know how this works let's have a look at hearty healthy dapper red-faced gentleman um, why is this important that's um, describing Dr Lanyon so you know this quotation is important in its um, in, in the way it describes Dr Lanyon um, because it shows him as hearty healthy um, so which words would we pick out it shows it well it would shows him as being um, uh, a very healthy um, imposing person the words I would pick out are healthy and dapper dapper just means well dressed so the words healthy and dapper shows that he takes good care of himself physically and his appearance um, this this shows that he's a, a respected member of society um, now what could we use for terminology in there I think it's kind of almost a list isn't it hearty healthy dapper red-faced gentleman the use of a list listing these qualities um, shows how um, prominent they were in this in this description of Mr uh, of Dr Lanyon so I want you to annotate each of those quotes in that way and here's the one that I've uh, here's one that I've done for you that the uh, the quote that I was talking about just a second ago uh, the list you've got a list of adjectives you've got some terminology in there full of life and color takes pride in his appearance um, so you can uh, you can go through all of those quotes and do that to it and it takes you 10 minutes and here is my take on the rest of the quotes so uh, you've had 10 minutes to do those um, upload what you've done to me and I'll have a look at it on class charts well done today year 10 remember to keep uploading your work and do send me an email if you have any questions there it is nhouten at woking high dot sorry dot sch dot uk i hope you have uh, a good rest of your day and i'll speak to you tomorrow thank you very much year 11 enjoy